that job that you're looking at that you really, really want, do you actually know what that entails? Actually knowing what the job that you're looking at entails is something that is often overlooked when it comes to really understanding the skills and responsibilities of that new position. I'm trying to help you get past just a list of comparing the skills between the two jobs. While that is actually quite helpful and it's something that not everyone seems to do. So if you're currently in a role that's purely technical and you're just talking to technical people and you can be very direct with them and now you're gonna to work towards something that's more of a sales role or you're gonna have a lot more communication, you're gonna to have to be nicer to people and ask people to do things for you, that's a skill that's completely different and it will just be one more communication skills. We just one little thing called out on the new job. This is a place there's often a disconnect if you're trying to get to a new role, especially within your same company and it's seen that your skills aren't really there for that new role. And this could be very hard for you to hear because you might not see it at all. So we engineers typically lack emotional and social intelligence or EQ and SQ. And if we're talking about things like softer skills like communication, this could be complete blind spots for us. And it's something that you can't really easily capture on a resume. So it'll be very hard for you to understand what's going wrong because it's like, oh, I know this programming language or I understand this technical thing and I'm very competent at that. Why am I not ready for this new job over here? And, then, and trying to get across that the soft skills matter, especially when you're gonna start talking to people more, you should really care about those softer skills. Regardless of the size of your organization, you should try to find someone that you're trying to emulate. So I wanna go do this job just like this person's doing and see if there's a skill shortage that you have. So like I said earlier, maybe it's a softer skill being able to talk to people more. And maybe that's what's holding you back. Because if you don't have these softer skills, how are you expecting your management to tell you you're really bad at communicating, you need to go learn how to talk to people? Can you imagine how challenging that would be for your manager to tell you you don't know how to talk to people and you're not gonna be able to do that role that involves talking to people? That would not only put your manager in an incredibly challenging position, but you, by the pure fact that you don't understand the communication skills, you're unlikely to even understand there's a skill shortage there because you'll say, oh, I can talk to people just fine. This is why I routinely say that your emotional and social intelligence matter more than your technical chops as you rise up the ranks in any technical organization because your ability to communicate is the great equalizer. So if you can have the best technical chops in the world, but if you're starting to get up to a level where you need to lead people, talk to external customers, anything that involves more people, you need to be better at those people skills. I don't like calling them softer skills. I find it devalues them a little bit, but emotional and social intelligence are of utmost importance as you rise up the ranks. So is there a disconnect between your current skills and the skills necessary to go get that job that you're after? It's gonna be deeper than just the list on the website. So you should go find somebody in that role and see what you can do to upgrade your skills and be a better fit for that new position. Speaking of being a better fit, you should work on your emotional intelligence now. I've got a whole playlist up here for you to get started right away. Or if you're ready to get into social intelligence, I've got a whole separate playlist on those topics as well. Or I can keep doing exactly what you're doing and get the same results you've been getting.